because we understand the stings of stigma and discrimination, especially HIV-related stigma and discrimination. And we recognize those amongst us who are able to come out, you know, speak out and influence others to also not to hide and suffer in stigma and discrimination. May I also, in a special way, recognize the survivors of gender-based violence. Wale ambao wanazidi kudulumika lakini wamejitoa in our communities na wamesema they'll not keep quiet. They'll stand up and speak out the ills in our society so that they can influence and touch the lives of others who are going through similar experiences. When a county commissioner, in a special way, I also want to recognize the community health volunteers. Um, but for Bila community health volunteers, we do not have primary health care. How wanafanya kazi mzuri sana in our community. And we really appreciate and recognize our government because they are put the government is putting in place for infrastructure to ensure that the community health workers are well remunerated in the kufanya kazi vizuri at the uh, primary health care level. Um so I want to thank the people of Siaya County for hosting us today in your county as we continue to address the three threats. New HIV infections, adolescent pregnancies, adolescent pregnancies and sexual and gender-based violence cases. These issues are interrelated and they have significant consequences for our society and particularly for the health and well-being of the young people not only in Siaya but in Kenya as a country. Kenya has a youthful population Thank you. Kenya has a youthful population about 59% of the population aged below 24 years. In Siaya County, where we are right now, this is even higher, with 61% of the total population being people, young people below age 24 years. Adolescents aged 10 and 19 years were 268,530, which contributes to 27% of the total population in Siaya County. Gender-based violence is actually a silent epidemic due to the stigma uh, uh, those who are affected who are faced because most people are unwilling to talk about it and therefore one of the challenges that i want to throw to all of us here who are leaders in one or the other is that we must start talking about it we must talk, start talking about uh, triple threats in our forums, whether it is the churches, uh, public parazas, all forums. Teenage pregnancies here in Sierra County, they are also on the rise. And it's a high time we talk about it so that uh, we can prevent uh, them occurring. So, we have a serious responsibility to fight this, uh, this pandemic. And therefore, I am requesting all of us to use all the opportunities that you have. As parents, we have a responsibility to fight the tribal threat at home. As leaders, we also have the, our forums. The religious leaders, I've seen you here, you have, all, you have your roles to play, and all of us. The county has recorded very significant decline in new HIV infections among adolescents aged nine, 10 to 19 years. And that is, the drop is from 2,355 in 2015 to a paltry 370. 71 in 2021. Isn't that a very big drop? So can we give ourselves a big clap?
as residents of Sierra County. That reduction represents 84% compared to the national reduction rate, which was only 72. Imagine, Sierra County worked so hard from 2015 to drop their figures from over 2,000 to 371. 